Uh, hello everybody, I came with the second uh, subtopic which is related to uh, members of the solar system. Before I proceed into today's topic, let us revise the previous uh, subtopic which is related with the origin of uh, the Earth. The origin of the Earth is intimately related to uh, the formation of the solar system. Some scientists uh, believed that the same planets and other smaller bodies in the solar system were formed from a large flammable of uh, hot wiring gases the flammable was loosely packed gases uh, this gas is largely made up of uh, hydrogen helium and dust particles uh, this gases and dust particles gradually uh, draw together because of gravitational pull and formed a tiny disk through time uh, the disk is split into rings and it kept uh, spinning the spinning ring as the center uh, formed uh, the sun the outer ring resulted in the formation of the eight planets which includes uh, the earth geologists estimate that the earth was formed uh, 4.6 billion years uh, ago until august 2006 pluto was considered as uh, a planet however in a meeting of an international astronomical union a decision was uh, taken about uh, pluto so Pluto like other celestial bodies which is found in the solar system, Pluto called uh, a dwarf uh, planet. This is all about uh, the previous session. When you come to today's topic, today we are going to see uh, members of uh, solar system. So uh, our solar system is made up of, our solar system is made up of sun, planets and other countless smaller uh, bodies. Those smaller bodies are dwarf planets, asteroids, meteorites, meteors, comets. Those are few examples of smaller bodies which orbits the sun or which is found in the solar system. Let us see each member of the solar system briefly. The first member of the solar system is called sun. Sun is the central part of the solar system. Sun is the central parts of the solar system sun is a huge uh, object in the solar system which is made up of extremely hot gases the sun is made up of extremely hot gases those gases are called helium and hydrogen 25 percent of the sun is uh, helium and 75 percent of the sun is uh, hydrogen uh, the sun provides a pulling forces. The sun provides a pulling forces that force binds the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system, which means the sun is the only source of heat and light for the solar system. But the thermidius heat, the thermidius heat of the sun is not felt by human beings because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us the sun is far away from us so we cannot feel the thermidius sheet which comes from uh, the sun the sun is about 150 kilometer away from us or from the earth the sun is uh, about 150 kilometer away from uh, the earth light travels at a speed of 300,000 km per second. Light travels at a speed of 300 km per second. The sun is a star. The sun is a star just like many of the stars that we can see in the sky. The sun is a star just like many of other stars that we can see in the night sky. Uh, the sun is the largest object in the solar system. The sun is the largest object in the solar system, which comprising 99.8%, which comprising 99.8% of the solar system uh, masses. Uh, when you come to the second member of the solar system, the second member of the solar system is planets. The second members of the solar system is called uh, planet. The word planet comes from the Greek words planetia. The word planet comes from a Greek word, planetia. Planetia means wonder. Wonder means revolve. Wonder means revolve. There are around eight planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. All those eight planets are revolve around the sun. In our solar system, there are eight planets. Those eight planets are revolve around the sun on their paths. All planets are revolve around the sun on their 
phases their phases is called orbits their phase is called orbit uh, the orbit is elliptical in shape the orbit is elliptical in shape in order of uh, their distance from the sun in order of distance from the sun from the sun in order of distance from the sun uh, planets are classified into two in order of distance from the sun planets are divided into two inner planets and outer planets inner planets and outer planets when you come to inner planets inner planets are the four planets which is closest to the sun inner planets are a planet or the four planets which is closest to the sun those are mercury venus earth and mars inner planets are the four planets which is closest to uh, the sun inner planets are existed uh, in solid uh, state inner planets are existed in solid state so astronomers called them terrestrial planets terrestrial planet because they have solid and rocky surface inner planets have solid and rocky surface Be because of this uh, solid and rocky surface astronomers called them terrestrial uh, planet uh, compared to outer planets the inner planets are smaller in size when you compare inner planet with uh, outer planets they are smaller uh, in size uh, let us proceed into outer planets when you come to outer planets jupiter saturn uranus and neptune jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are the outer planets of our solar system Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune are the outer planets of our solar system. Outer planets are farthest from the sun. Outer planets are farthest from the sun. The outer planets are much larger than the inner planets. Outer planets are much larger than the inner planets. Since they are mostly made up of gases, since they are mostly made up of gases, they are also called gas giant planets most outer planets are made up of gases so uh, astronomers call them gas giant uh, planet uh, this is in a for uh, today's session on the next session i proceed uh, from asteroids thank you for your attention